Hello and welcome back to another Biomutant video. So we're going to break down things I wish I knew when I started. I'm about 20 hours into Biomutant having so much fun and really I just wanted to break down what I think would be useful to know for new players starting the game on release tomorrow. I've been playing for about four days. Uh, so anyway, let's get into it. Not going to waste your time. Number one, do not worry about visual appearance. At the start of the game, you will have the option to allocate stat points that affect your visual appearance in the game. Do not worry about this because later on you will get the chance to change your appearance and that will not cost you any stats. It doesn't matter what your stat allocation is. So initially, just go for your stat allocation. If you like playing like that, go for the type of build that you want to build. Build your own power fantasy in your own world of Biomutant. Number two, leave crafting for later. Crafting is a complex beast in Biomutant and you really don't need to touch it until midway through the game once you start consistently getting good parts. Just use what you get till that point, then start crafting elemental weapons or weapons with perks on them later on in the game. Just sell any parts or purple gear that you get early on to generate funds and just buy the upgrades early on. Personally, I didn't do much with the crafting at all and started having a lot of fun with crafting around level 15 onwards. Number three, go into biohazard areas early. Spec fully into biohazard resist early so you can pick up bio points to unlock all the mutations. This will give you a large variety of skills to choose from later on and open up a ton of combo opportunities with those skills. Use water in the biohazard areas, which may look toxic, but actually they're not, as they cleanse the toxicity in the areas and allow you to continue farming the enemies for bio points. Number four, it's all yellow. Yellow points lead to a bunch of secrets and a bunch of hidden areas and quests. So basically, if you see yellow paint on the wall or yellow handlebars, just follow the path. Number five, invest in luck. Luck is a fantastic stat in Biomutant as it gives a big damage boost and gives you better items, which in turn boosts your stats even more. The game is not difficult, even on hard, so invest in damage skills to make your playthrough a lot more fun and a lot more strong. Who doesn't like slapping everything into the planet? God knows where. Number six, understand your auras. Light and dark auras will affect not only your ending, but the side powers available to you. Best check out my skills guide so you know exactly which path to go down. Number seven, learn your combos. Don't rely on button prompts or button mashing. Learn the basic special combos that charge your super bar quickly. They're normally the same across all weapon types, so learn them and learn how to use them to build up your super bar. Basically, you can't chain the same one back to back, so you need to chain between the different special moves you've got, and that will allow you to make quick work of camps and bosses as you build up multiple supers in one fight. Lastly, number eight, use your skills. Maybe it was just me, but I never used my skills early on. It was only halfway through I started weaving them into my combos and seeing how much variety there is in combat when you weave in your mutation skills. Don't be me, be a better me. And that's all. I'm about 20 hours in now, having so much fun. Thank you so much to THQ again. Um, I hope this is helpful. I just wanted to make it quick, sharp. Don't want to waste your time. I'm sure you'd rather be playing by mutant than listening to me. Take care, everyone. Peace. Hit like. Thank you.